Hey, second grade writers, welcome to writing lesson 10. Can you believe it? We have finished up unit one of writing. You've learned so many things about writing, how about writing your opinion, how to introduce your big, bold opinion, how to give reasons that support your opinion, how to elaborate and say more about those reasons, and how to wrap it up at the end by saying, ta-da! I am so proud of your hard work, and I hope you're proud of yourself too. I want you to take a minute to look through your writing folder, and I want you to take out the piece of writing that you feel is the best that you've done so far and that you've gotten all finished up. Don't pick a writing that's only halfway done. Okay, so pause the video for a minute, look through your writing, and pick your best piece that's completely done. Okay, go ahead and do that. Okay, do you have your piece? Today we're going to do the, the final work with that piece of writing. We're going to use a checklist and we're gonna go through the opinion writing checklist part by part to make sure we, that your writing has everything that it needs before you share it with someone. That's gonna be our writing goal for today. I can use a checklist of qualities of good opinion writing to revise my own writing. Let's get started. You may have brought home this opinion writing checklist from school. If you don't have a copy, I'm going to make it into two Nearpod Draw It slides. The reason I'm gonna make it into two is because if I make it in one, it's gonna to be too tiny. If you brought one home from school though, go ahead and use that one. This is an opinion writing checklist and we've used checklists in the past. Remember, when you do a checklist, you go through each line, you read it and you think, have I done this? For this checklist, if you've done it, you're gonna put a check mark in the box to say yes. For example, you might read and say, I began with a bold opinion that clearly shows how I feel about my topic. Then you look back at your writing and say, did I do this? If you have your opinion writing, you check mark yes. If you don't, then you make sure to go and add that big bold opinion writing. You could do that with post-it notes if you have post-it notes at home. You could do that with a pen or a marker in a different color, or you can just do it with a pencil. That's fine too. You don't have to start over again. You can just add it right there on the page. Then you go to the next row. I gave reasons to support my opinion. You look back at your writing and think, do I have my reasons? One reason is, another reason is. If you have those, then you check mark, yes. If you don't, use your sticky notes, pencils, or markers and add it. Then you go to the next one. I gave details or examples to say more about my reasons. Go back to each reason and think, did I use details and examples to support my reasons? If so, check yes. If not, add it and then check yes. You'll do that for each of the parts of the opinion writing checklist. Because when you do that and you get through and you have all of the boxes checked, your writing is going to be fantastic. I wanna take a minute to read through each of the rest of them to make sure you understand what you're looking for. I used linking words to connect my ideas. So did you use words like another reason or one reason is, or finally, did you link your ideas? I wrote a ta-da ending or concluding statement. So did you write that ta-da ending? I spell words that I know correctly. So these are words that we've studied in phonics before or you learned in first grade that you should know how to spell correctly. So make sure that you check that your words are spelled correctly. I used strategies to try out longer words. Use the strategies we've been learning in phonics. Break it into syllables. Think about each syllable and make sure that each syllable is correct if we've learned that syllable. So if you have a consonant LE syllable type, like maybe you used stumble, you need to make sure that your BLE looks right because you know that pattern. And then finally, I used correct punctuation, which is cap, uh, periods, exclamation points, question marks, capitals. So you use a capital at the beginning of each sentence and if you used any names, commas, and apostrophes. So apostrophes, like if you, you say the word don't, do you have your apostrophe between the N and the T? That's a lot to do, my readers, but you, our writers, but you can do it. Make sure that if you don't have it, you fix it, then you come back and you add a check mark. So that's your independent writing for today. Choose your favorite completed opinion writing draft. It 
has to be completed or you can't really use the checklist. Read each line of the checklist, then look at your draft. If your writing has it, then you're gonna put a check mark for yes. If not, use a post-it note, a colored pen or pencil, or even just a regular pencil to add or change it. Then when everything is completely fixed and you have a yes in everything, I want you to find someone to read your final draft to and celebrate your hard work. If there's no one at home with you that you can read your final draft to, I'm gonna make a recorded slide, um, an open-ended question where you can click record and you can record it on to the Nearpod so you get a chance to read your writing. Whichever way you do it, make sure you come back to the Nearpod when you're all done because I wanna celebrate with you too. Head off, make your writing great, share your thoughts and feelings and head back to the Nearpod.